All right, this is Ms. Driscoll, and I'm going to talk to you about how to make an animation using Google Slides. So I'm starting with a template with 10 slides in it, and the first thing I'm going to do is I had an idea, so I'm going to change the color of my background to be more gray, and then I'm going to insert a shape, and my shape is going to be a cloud. So there's a cloud. I'm going to put it right in the middle. And it's not a very cheerful cloud, so I'm going to make it on the gray side, too. Then I'm going to insert another shape, and it's going to be this teardrop shape. Okay? But uh, I want it to be like a raindrop, so I need to make some adjustments. So I'm going to experiment with uh, how to stretch and pull and, till I'm, and how to rotate it until it's more of a raindrop shape. I want it to stretch out a little more this way. That's a little too much, so Command Z. Um, rotate it just a smidge. All right, I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to change the color of the raindrop to blue. And I'm going to copy it and well, paste because who wants just one raindrop? This morning it was much more than one raindrop. So I'm going to make well, a group of five raindrops. All right, so I've got a cloud and raindrops. And I'm going to start on my number two. I'm going to change the background to be gray, just like the first slide. Is that the same color gray? Yep. And then I'm going to take all of these and grab all of these shapes. You can tell which ones are grabbed by which ones are outlined in this light blue. So that cloud is outlined in light blue, and these raindrops are outlined in light blue. Um, if I just wanted to grab the cloud, I can just grab the cl cloud. I could just grab one raindrop or, or all of the raindrops by clicking and dragging across. I want all of the shapes to come with me, so I'm going to use my Command C, or I could go to Edit, Copy, and then here I'm going to Paste. So Command V to Paste or Edit, Paste. But it pastes in the same place as it was before, as on the, on the first slide, which you know because we did that snowman activity and when you pasted from one slide to another, um, it would be in the same place. So I'm going to actually grab these and I'm going to make them a little bit lower because rain falls. So it's in a slightly different place. So, oh, I accidentally did that with the wrong slide though. Oh. Tell you what, I didn't out of order, so I'm going to move that slide. So now that's more like it. I'm going to grab this again, copy, change the background, gray, paste. I'm going to move the raindrops a little lower again. Okay, maybe not that much lower. I'm also going to grab just a couple of the raindrops and copy and paste them again. Um, because the cloud made more raindrops. Yep, and then I'm going to grab, and I'm going to go here, change the background again to gray, because it's a gray, rainy thing I'm doing. And then I'm going to move these a little, little lower again. If they go off, that's OK. Um, I can also grab this whole slide and copy it. Um, if you don't want to, and now I have 11 slides because I've just created another slide. Um, whatever is easier for you or whatever works best with the things. I'm actually going to go and start, let's see, as I get rid of some of these, I'm going to add a new shape. Yeah, boy. So I'm going to start this lightning, and obviously the color's got to be yellow. So now I'm going to grab these. Put here and paste, and I'm going to make the rain go a little bit further down. And this thunderbolt is going to grow a little bit. Okay, I'm going to copy and paste all these again. Background gray done. Paste. I'm going to make these go down with some furtherness. That's a real word. No, it's not. Make that grow again. Uh -uh. Copy and paste all of it. 
background gray command Z no oh, not just that guy gotta grab them all make all the rain go lower and this is copy and paste that whole slide one more time and my raindrops are going to go all the way down my lightning is going to be real big and instead of having a gray background it's going to be almost white like the cloud because when lightning strikes like that so I'm going to copy and paste the slide and I'm going to get rid of all the raindrops delete 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 and I'm going to make it back to a gray background and then I'm going to copy and paste it again and I'm going to change the background back to the almost white so it's like a couple flashes and grab this guy put it ahead of this one oh, click and drag click and drag and now I'm going to leave that B for a second and Command C, Command C. Uh, now I'm going to have a, let's see, insert shape. Where's the shape I want? That's the shape I want. So it's like a, a speech bubble, but I'm going to move the speech bubble here and let's see insert text box get it the, the cloud is saying excuse me for the lightning <laughs> I think I'm hilarious let's make that bigger so it's easy to read that's too big because it doesn't fit nicely there we go going to make it centered and I'm going to copy and paste it again so it's real easy to see now I don't need any of these down here and so that's my slideshow it's pretty simple basic shapes um, copied and pasted a lot with some clicking and dragging adjustments so now I'm going to try and make it look animated so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check it. Let's see. Ah, get out of here. Start at number one. So if I present it and I go forward, it's, you can kind of see how it's like a very simple thing. Um, but you don't want to have to make people click it. So what I'm going to do is click Publish to Web. And auto advance, advanced slide, let's see. Um, it makes visible to anyone. So, um, but I don't have to give anyone the link. But just to be on the safe side, if you want to change your name up here and just make it like your first name and last initial, that might be a safe idea. But I'm going to go back to publish to the web every second because three seconds was too much. Alright, so this is my Command C to press Command C to copy. And if I open a new tab and I put it in there, this is what it looks like. Rain, rain, go away. Oh, here's some thunder and lightning. I'm the sound effects, I didn't put them in there. And the cloud says, excuse me.